Hey, what's up? Today we're gonna make a pina colada flavored smoothie bowl base that is just creamy, amazing, delicious, real nice to scoop with a spoon and maybe throw a couple walnuts or chocolate chips or something on it. Um, we're gonna use all organic ingredients and we're gonna start now. Okay, so what I normally like to have for my coconut flavor is a coconut beverage okay, a coconut milk beverage, and real coconut milk that is, you know, I don't know why, for some reason, real coconut milk only comes in like a can or a bag. I don't know why they can't just put real coconut milk into this thing. Um, and, and another thing I wanna point out about that is that both of these two things contain emulsifiers, and there's literally no way to get single ingredient coconut milk or coconut milk beverage anywhere. So this is organic Whole Foods coconut beverage it is so delicious tasting. It's thick, it's rich, it's creamy, but it does contain some emulsifiers like carrageenan or, or some something, something semi-sketchy. So does this. It has one extra ingredient in it and I'm not thrilled about it, but at the end of the day, like guar gum or, or something, guar gum, carrageenan, uh, soy lecithin, there's all these things that these companies sneak in for no reason and it drives me crazy. Um, so yes, there are options for this, on Amazon that are single ingredient, but it's just a real pain in the ass. I could just get this from Costco, um, otherwise I have to scout out the perfect thing on uh, Amazon, and I don't really make these that much to really warrant to go through all that um, extra effort and trouble. So, I have my frozen bananas that I talked about in my last video, and if you didn't see that, please take a look at that. And frozen pineapple. So, at Costco you can get big bags of frozen pineapple, or what I like to do um, also at Costco is get two or even three pineapples at once, and then as they ripen, I cut them with the intention of strictly just using them for freezing purposes. So, my bag of bananas and bag of pineapple. So, for every individual smoothie bowl that I'm gonna make, I like to put about a half a cup. I'll stop all the racket. I like to put about a half a cup of frozen sweet pineapple. And again, it's it's not super accurate because it's frozen in big chunks, but you know, there's a lot of air in there. So that looks like about a half cup, two thirds of a cup. It doesn't really make all that big of a difference. Okay, so half a cup of frozen pineapple. One. One frozen banana, break it in half. And this, these coconut milk things, real, real drag. I don't understand why it has to come in a can, but whatever, what are you gonna do? So I shake it up very good, open the can, and then when I'm done with this smoothie bowl here today, I'll store the rest of this milk, because I'm only using a third of a cup of this stuff. Now, this does contain coconut fat, right? Coconut, real fat from the coconut, so it's not stripped down. Um, it's creamy, it's awesome, but too much of it is kind of gross. So I use a third of a cup of this per individual and a third of a cup of this per individual. Okay. And then I get into the magic of the Vitamix stainless steel. I'll kick this thing on and no, yes, okay. I'm supposed to put the liquids in first and then put the stuff in. However, this thing is gonna be so dense that honestly, it doesn't even make a difference. It's just gonna take a lot of arm work to get this thing right. So we'll start at a very low speed. Okay, it'll get to that point. It'll get to that point where it just kinda of stops doing anything. And that's where you have to intervene with the uh, the masher. Okay, so take the lid off. And then really, the thing is, the difference between the coconut milk and the coconut milk fat and dairy milk and dairy milk fat is the dairy milk, it just makes things blend a little more velvety, a little smoother. So one of my pro tip tricks is when this does get close to complete, what I like to do is I like to add like two tablespoons of actual heavy cream. However, that doesn't make it like a non-vegan um, smoothie base. However, 
it makes it like really extra rich and like amazing. So that's an optional thing to throw in a couple tablespoons, even a quarter cup of heavy cream. Give it that really rich kind of um, deep ice cream milk fat flavor. However, the fat from the coconut and the, the texture of this coconut milk with the banana and the frozen pineapple, and it's essential that the pineapple and the banana are frozen, will make a really good base on its own. Okay, so jam, jam, jam. Turn it up a little bit. And I kind of go in a circular motion with this thing. And again, it's not, it doesn't like to spin as well with the coconut milk as it does when I add dairy stuff. The full fat milk, the full fat yogurt, a little bit of heavy cream. So it takes a little more elbow grease. But the end product, Woo! Trying, I'm working it. And sometimes I'll jam right in the middle because that's where you can kind of release the air pocket that forms and let it swirl again. See what's going there? Spinning. Now it stopped. So this turkey's about done. Turn it up, nothing happens. So at this point, what I like to do, because it's real dense, real thick, right? I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Mmm, look at that. Look at this. That's a nice texture, right? It's really good. That. It's nice. But, can I show you something? If you just do this, a little bit of this, right? Now, I'm not intentionally trying to piss off any vegans. All I'm saying is literally two tablespoons of this, more or less, throw it in here and give it like a little, like a little swirl. Right. So let it get in there. Release that air bubble. There's always like an air bubble that forms, right? When you're doing these like kind of thicker things. Mm. And let's put the lid back on. Put this thing on. We're gonna jam it out one more time. Try this, and it's got that creamy, that cr little extra fat, that little extra milk fat, and that creamy thing. That is unbelievably good. And you have to trust me on this. You must try this creation right here. So again, Whole Foods 365, original coconut, uh, non-dairy beverage. Any kind of real coconut milk, they have like Goya has a kind. This is the kind I get from Costco, it's organic. There is one emulsifying agent in it, which I don't prefer. I like single ingredient stuff, as you well know, but that will work. They have that stuff on Amazon. They have different options at Whole Foods. Um, so real with full fat coconut milk, the real deal. Half cup pineapple, frozen. One full banana, and optionally, a little bit of heavy cream just to give it that thick, rich flavor. Take this and eat it as it is. Um, 
drink it if you want, if you have a, if you have a thick straw, or get it into a bowl, throw a couple walnuts on it, a couple uh, chocolate chips, and you got yourself an awesome smoothie base. A vegan option, don't have to do the heavy cream. It's, it's so good that it's ridiculous, okay? Enjoy.